So, you're gonna need a lot of items in order to build a base, but I thought, instead of telling you all those, I could just show you how we build the base. So, in this, I'm gonna show you how to build the two items that comprise base building, and then I'm gonna go over all the other little tidbits that you can do. Let's go. All right, so I'm out here in the middle of nowhere to show you how exactly uh, we build these two guys. So, first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a fence kit or a watchtower kit, and how we get that is by bunch of sticks here we grab that we grab a rope and we combine them for the fence kit the one on the left there it's gonna take less sticks than the watchtower kit the one on the right here which is four pillars right so we're gonna make a fence kit first and what's really important about the fence kit is you are gonna want to place these two things the way that you're facing the wall is gonna be on the opposite side so the soft side of the wall like let me show you over here really quick this is the hard side of the wall right this is a soft side of the wall. When I place this, if I placed it right here, the hard side would be just like this one, right? So I'd be placing the wall exactly the same. Right here would make the hard side the opposite side. It's very important that you know that because when you're building the watchtower, you're going to need to know which side is the open side, the side you're going to go into. So whenever you click this, don't spin it. Don't do nothing. Start on the, the inside and we're going to place that down once we deploy it. We're going to hold left click and deploy it. All right, now that we got the fence set up there, we need two logs, which you could get by cutting the tree. We're just going to carry these down, put them in the log slot. Now that we have the two logs actively connected to that fence kit, we need to take either a pickaxe or a shovel. We're going to walk up to it, and it's going to say build base. And a good way to remember this, like what item you need to use, you need to dig the holes for these two logs to be pillared into the ground. Boom. Boom. I just dug a hole with the pickaxe right there to place that log in there, super sturdy. Now we got our two pillars set up. We're gonna walk up to it and open our inventory. And here we're gonna see any attachments that we wanna put on it. But what we're gonna focus on for advancement is gonna be materials. Now I have nails here. So I drug those into the nail slot. And these nails are gonna allow us to activate these next two categories. One, I have 10 planks here. I'm gonna drag those and put them there. I have 10 metal sheets. I'm going to drag those and put those there. Now it says 10 of 20 because I could either make the top and the bottom of this wall plank and plank, or I can make the top and the plank or in the bottom metal. I could, I could vice versa it, right? I could do whatever I want. So I'm going to build the lower frame, which is what we have to do first here. And then I'm also going to build the upper frame. And I could do this with either this hatchet or a, or a hammer. Now, sometimes it's kind of difficult to find where to mark it again. You always want to look at like the log, right? I'm looking at this middle log and it gives me the prompt. Now, I don't want to dismantle. I want to lower, build lower wall. I want to build the upper frame. All right. And now it'll allow me to build upper metal wall because I have 10 metal wall in there, right? Or I could build... Oh, I need planks. Sorry. Resume in action. Or I could build lower wooden wall or upper wooden wall. I Because I have 10 and 10, I'm allowed to pick whichever one I want this to be. So I'm going to make the upper wall metal. And I'll make the bottom one wood here. And ultimately, the metal wall is just going to have a stronger resistance to the, to the elements and other things that are going to try and break in here. Now I'm going to do a lower wooden wall. So these are the two sort of components that you can make your walls into. Boom. And notice, because I placed it the way I did facing that direction, the wall is also facing that direction, okay? Now that we have this here, I'm going to grab metal wire because right now it's just uh, it's just the wall, right? It's a fence. If I put metal wire here and I take some pliers and I put them into my hand, I could turn it into a gate. The metal wire is sort of allowing it to swing open. So I'm going to build gate here. If I wanted it to just be a wall, I would never put the metal wire there and I would just leave it as is. And now that I've done that, I could walk up to it and open and it'll open towards me. Okay, that's very important towards me towards me so now that we got ourselves a fence we have to put a code lock on it and there are two different code locks we can get a three dial combination or a four dial how this works is you get to put whatever code you want to open the gate on the dial so i have it in my hands right now i'm going to put the code one two three so that's going to be four the code's going to be four one two three four that's going to be four five one i'm going to walk up to the gate and i'm going to attach it now, the code is 451 when I placed it on the gate, but if I walk up to it right now, it's not 451. It randomizes the dial number, so you don't have to change the code 
when you put it onto your gate. All you have to do is when you come back, now I got to go to the next style. Next style. Okay, four. One, two, three, four. Next style, F. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, shoot. What did I make it? Five. Sorry. Four more. One, two, three, four. And then this one needs to be one. So two. One, two. Boom. And it breaks it off, which will allow you to open the gate. And this this also works for the five four digit one. It's just one more digit, which ultimately is super crucial when it comes to to rescuing your base and making sure someone doesn't just sit here all day and go one one two one one three one one four right i can't express how much more powerful the four combination lock is in comparison to the two the two the three combat combo one okay now if we want to build a watchtower it is pretty much exactly the same we are going to place this and notice how there's an open area so it's facing away from me exact same principle i'm going to build it here and if we walk into the center i'm going to need four four logs for this so i'm going to go get four logs really quick Oh my goodness, a miracle. Exactly four logs. So I drag them into here. And that is going to allow us to do what? To build the pillars, which I could either use a pickaxe or a shovel for. Think about it. I got four giant logs here. They're going to be one, two, three, four, right? So I'm going to walk into the center and build base. Here we go. And you'll see it is the exact same building process, except now I have three walls to manage. Right? I have to put the nails in each of them and I have to put the planks or the metal sheets in each of them. All right, so here we go. I got planks and metal sheets in every category here. So I'm gonna go over to this wall. I'm gonna build the lower frame. And then we're gonna move on to each frame and we're gonna build both lower and upper for each area, just like our fence over there. Build lower frame. Build the lower frame. I'm gonna build the upper frame here. And now it's my choice. Do I want to make it planks or do I want to make it uh, metal? Okay. So now you get the idea. We are essentially allowed to fill these spots with either wood or the sheet metal. And it's up to us what we put there. Um, now that I have the four walls built, I want to build up. I want to build higher. And what I need for that is I need to come to the front entrance of the watchtower. Get that out of the way. And I need to build the floor. See how it pops up there? Build floor. If I go too far, it's not there anymore. It's just like right in this invisible entrance here. Build floor. Now that we have our floor, we need to build stairs. Boom. And now that we have that built, I can come up to the top. And if I open tab right in the stairwell entrance right here, I will see that I just need the exact same thing. Okay. I need four logs. I'm going to go get those right now. Remarkable. I got four logs. I'm going to go to the entrance of the stairs, just like I said, and I'm going to drag them into the inventory. And the difference is you'll see I don't need the pickaxe on this one. I just need to come to the entrance right here and I need to build the base. So you're not going to use the pickaxe for the second level. You are going to use your hatchet or your hammer. You're going to look at your stairs. You're going to stand at the top of the stairs, look at the empty spot of the stairs, build base. Boom, and now you're going to see the exact same recipe. I have four walls. I need to put either nails or planks in them. Or sorry, nails and then planks or metal sheet in them. And I could customize them afterwards as I need. For example, over here, the barbed wire goes on top. The barbed wire goes on bottom. This has a gate combination. But also, you could cover it in this camo netting right here. Giving yourself a little bit more protection from like people seeing it. Because as you can see, the... Oh, the metal and the wood is pretty easy to distinguish, especially out there in the world. But if you put this next to some trees, it actually does camouflage it quite well. Um, these items are different strengths, so the wood will be a little bit weaker than the metal will be up top. So ideally, if you want to build your base as strong as possible, you're going to want to build it all out of metal. But if I put 10 grenades here, here, I'll do it for you. All right, so now I'm here with 1,000 grenades in my inventory. Uh, we are going to put them on this wall and we're going to blow it up and you're going to see that this pillar here isn't going to take it. Oh, whoops. Isn't going to take any damage, but these two wall elements will and the wood will take more damage than the upper metal wall. So ideally in a perfect world, you build it all out of metal, right? Let's go. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm super resilient. So as you can see. 
This one is about half HP, maybe a little bit less than half, and the lower wooden wall already blew up. If we keep going, as soon as this top wall disintegrates and disappears, all of the frame will go away too. So here, let's blow it up a little faster here. And boom, as soon as the structure, like the, the covering broke, the frame broke as well, which would allow us to come in. Also, you can see the combination lock just pops right off there. So that'll give you an idea as to how resistant this is. Also, alongside using explosives, oh, sorry, fishies. Alongside using explosives to break into a base, you could dismantle with, with items. I could break things down, but in order to do that, I have to be on the inside. So I could sit there and hurt it all day. I could shoot bullets at it. Ultimately, it's going to take a lot of damage to really break it down. Um, but they can only dismantle from the inside. So keep that in mind, okay? I can't dismantle any of these things from the outside. I, I could look at it. I could try. I could try. I have to get to the inside in order to dismantle or to build or to do anything alongside it. So you have to make sure to protect the soft side of your walls. So that is pretty much a whole tutorial as to how the building of these two different structures and their variants work. Pretty much all you need to know in terms of building the actual things. But always keep in mind where you click the fence kit is going to be facing away from you. So the strong side of the wall is on the opposite side from where you are. That's super important because you only get one chance ultimately when you're out there and dismantling it would just it takes so much time. And now that we've done this, let's actually get to a location that we are going to want to build a base at. Now, I found what I believe to be a good location for a base. So now I'm going to show you all of the steps involved with actually putting the structure together and getting myself a secure location here. And then we're going to customize it to our liking alongside that. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to need to do is cut down the forest. So we're going to start with a big tree here. Uh, gather wooden log. We want to gather wooden log here. Now, every time the circle goes around and rotates, it'll give me one wooden log. So I get, I get two per tree, essentially. Then we got to carry this wooden log all the way back down there. All right. So we got our one wooden log here. But it looks like we need two. So I'm going to go back up and get another one. Now, you can cut trees that are near. Like, I could cut all these down. Um, but I want it for the visual for you guys. And, and when the server restarts, they will be there again. So it's nothing nothing for you to concern yourself with. You can deforest everything. And on server restart, it'll, it'll repopulate. Let's grab this one now. Bring it on down. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do when it comes to securing this base is making a gate. Okay? I may have to make walls alongside the gate to properly seal it off but ultimately if we get a gate we're pretty much in the works for having this location being stable so i have my two wooden logs here i have my fence kit i put it into my hands and i am going to try and get this as close to the building as possible so that i could put another another wall like fence right here and another fence until i seal this off because there's only one door on this building, I only have to technically make one sealed entrance. Looks like I got it pretty close right here, so I'm going to hold left click and deploy this. Alright, so we have our fence here. It looks like I need two more logs. Alright, we're going to attach these logs here. Boom, and boom. And now... Now that I have the logs on there, I need to make the holes. So either a pickaxe or a shovel. Boom. I got my pillars. Now that I got my pillars, I need my insides. First things first, we got a billion nails. So we're going to go ahead and fill that nail box. All right. Let's go cut down a tree. We're going to go over here. Cut down this guy. Wooden log. That's what we want. I'll cut down the tree the fastest way possible. Boom. Oh, three on this bag. Oh, you a big tree. Oh! All right. When it falls down, now we have wooden logs. We take a handsaw. We drag the wooden log onto the handsaw. Craft wooden plank. 
That gave me four planks. Craft wooden plank. We're going to want as many as possible uh, each time we walk back and forth. It's very important. Want to maximize your efficiency here. So boom, now we have 10 wooden planks. So we are going to be able to get this thing up and running, I think. You'll see we can't put wooden planks in our backpack unless they're on a modern surface. So just put them on your hands, run them over. And then we go to the back side of the door of the fence and we attach. That's going to put it on the slot right there. Now that we got that on there, we could take a hammer out or a hatchet and we build lower frame. Boom. And kerplunk. And then we go up to it. We look at the look at the wood part because if I look in between, sometimes we won't see it, right? Look at the wood frame. Build lower wall. Build the upper frame. Ba boom Now that we got the upper frame and the lower frame, we only have two planks, so I'm not going to be able to fill this. I'm going to need to go make more. Now, ultimately, we're going to have to repeat this process quite a bit because we're going to need a lot of planks and a lot of logs to truly solidify a position. And the truth of the matter alongside that is our handsaw is not always going to be pristine. So we're going to need a couple sharpening stones as well to help keep our our crafting utensils as in good shape as possible. Okay, very important. You get a sharpening stone. Let's go in here, put this on. We want to attach it. And now we want to solidify the wall by building the lower wall. Now, luckily, because we built the wall correctly and we know that the outside of the wall was facing away from us when we built it, the wall is facing the right way. Build the upper wooden wall now. Going through the wall at the same time. Not a big deal. This game is full release. Don't you worry. Just kidding. I love you guys. Daisy Devs, I care about you. Boom. And we have our whole wall. All right. Now we need metal wire. Do I have any metal wire? Let me see. I think I have some over here. Okay. I did have some metal wire. We put the metal wire onto the slot. Take the pliers into our hand. And we're going to build gate. Build gate. Hold. Now we are going to have a sort of access point for the front door here. Boom. Huh? Huh? What are we talking? How's that looking? Didn't take too long, right? If you just have the right utensils, it's not going to be the longest process. But you're going to repeat that. And you're going to make a couple fences here. So I'm just going to sort of time lap that time lapse that for you and here we go now it's important when we're doing this we want to get it sealed pretty close but if i make this like super tight here i'm not going to be able to make the next wall like i can't place it right underneath me so it's important that you give yourself a lot of space in this area plus we're going to want a little bit of extra space to put some other items eventually got my two pillars here i'm going to go ahead and fill in the mandatory things underneath. So first thing we're always going to need is nails in order to occupy anything else. Boom. We got our nails. We're going to put them in the slot there. Then we're going to drag our planks down here. We're just going to make this all wood because I don't have any metal plates. It's a sad day for me. My base is probably going to get raided tomorrow. I can't believe it. Here's another build option. I have an option when I have the upper part built and the lower part not built, I have an option to do a platform. So I'm going to show you guys what this is. So now that we have a platform here that is going to allow us to look out, we need to have an access point to get up there. Because we don't, it's b almost impossible to jump up there. So we could build stairs on the left or I could build stairs on the right just by scroll wheeling. And it looks like I'm going to want it to the right because it looks like my door is right here. So we're going to build right stairs. And boom, there you go. Now I have a way to get up here and look over and see who's outside my base. Now I don't want this to be empty because someone's going to shoot at my toes and ruin my feet. So we're going to go ahead and build lower wooden wall. All right. So that's a good start. We have this and it opens pretty good. Clean opening there. We need to bring this around and probably lock it off right here, but that's going to be like three more walls. So let's do that. Remember, I think the most common mistake people make is they make it too tight and then it doesn't. And although you may want to just cut it right here, right? And put two walls. Although that is maybe a drive that you want because you want to do less of this, bringing this stuff back and forth. Ultimately, you may end up ruining the whole operation by trying to cut that corner. 
So give yourself extra space so that you you have extra time to line up that end area. We need two logs. I have one here. All right, so we got our two planks here. We need to dig the holes. Let's get a pickaxe out. Can you can you guys chill out there, dude? What is going on? Seems like if I put this here, the person won't be able to sneak close enough around this corner. And they'll only, if they're right here, they'll only be looking at this one small category area. So this looks pretty good right here, I think. I just need to get it as close as I can possibly imagine it on this right side. We'll see right now. See if it looks good. Oh yeah, it's gonna take them right there up to that point. They're not gonna be able to see through that crack. Don't you know this is my base, brother? Get out of here. Delete the evidence. <laughs> so I got my two logs in. I need to build the base. Okay. So now we are fully sealed off. I have walls covering this area. No one can get into this area. It's especially important that we think about also, are there any structures nearby that someone could jump on? For example, I wouldn't want to build, let me open this really quick. I wouldn't want to build right up to this thing, this wall right here, because someone could jump up on top of this and then they have access to my base by jumping in. So I want to make sure where I build, there is no way to get on the roof or for someone to kind of glitch over. So it looks like I do have a little crack here. I got to be weary of. But in general, very small holes people can look through. And protection. Now, let's add some barbed wire. I could go up to any of these and I could put barbed wire on the bottom or the top. I'm going to put it on the top to prevent people from jumping over on all of these. What are you doing here, brother? This is my base. I'm trying to build a base here. All right, so now that we place the barbed wire on the fence and it's in the fence's inventory, we're going to want to look at the barbed wire on the ground of the fence and we're going to want to left click mount and it will pop it up there when it's done. Boom. See? So I'm going, I'm looking at the ground of the fence because it's in its inventory. If, it, if I drag it out, it's under my feet now and it's craft metal wire. But if it's in the inventory, I can look at it on the ground and I can mount it. Boom. All right, and now I am feeling pretty secure here. Come on, give me the prompt. All right, so now that we got our structure pretty much secure, the first thing we're gonna wanna ask ourselves is how long am I planning on keeping this base? And if your answer to that is like over a month's time, we need to make a flagpole. And what a flagpole does is it's going to keep the health because this gate right now, because there is no flagpole, the HP, the health of this gate is slowly ticking down. I mean, like super slowly, like 1.01, .01, like every so often, right? Very slowly. And it will stay here for, I don't know the exact amount of days. Maybe I'll put that in the video right now, but it'll stay here for maybe 30 to 45 days. Okay. With a flagpole, this base will stay here. As long as the flag is raised, none of the base will deteriorate, so it won't take any damage. And all of the items that you store inside of the building will stay here indefinitely. So long as you keep your flagpole up, it'll give like a, a sort of bubble around that flagpole where no loot will despawn and all of your loot's HP will stay regenerated so long as we keep the flag lifted all the way up. So we're going to talk about how to make a flagpole right now. First thing we're going to need is we are going to need to make a kit. So we do the same thing. We get sticks in our hand. We get rope. We drag it over. And now we want to make a flagpole kit. Fence kit, fence kit, flagpole kit. Now, in a perfect world, you're going to want your flagpole to be somewhere over undercover. So ideally, walling off the entire compound and having the flagpole 
is a good way to to make sure that it stays safe and that your loot doesn't despawn. But if you're if you're logging on every so many days, you should be fine putting it in the open. But in a perfect world, we would want this behind some sort of barrier so that players can't access it. But for the sake of this demo, I'll just put it here. Now, we have the flagpole. It looks like we need logs. How many logs? It just says log. We're going to find out right now. Now, that the flagpole is a little different. We don't get to use our pickaxe or our shovel to set this. We have to use a sledgehammer. So we're going to go ahead and build the base with this sledgehammer here. And that's going to open up our menu here. So for this, we need 16 logs and 32 stones. And you may be asking yourself, I don't even know what a stone is. I've never even seen a stone. Are you talking about those tiny little stones we see on the road? No, we're talking big daddy thick stones. How do you get those? We get a pickaxe and we have to find a rock. I see rocks. Let's go. And then we're going to gather large stone. That is one stone. We need 32 of these. Process how much inventory space that is. 32. Get to work, guys. We're going to be here a while. 17 pickaxes later. Here we go. I've been working on the time lapse. And now that we have successfully hit that rock for 17 days, we have 32 stones. And we went and cut six or wooden logs down. We go up to our flagpole with a pickaxe or a shovel, and we're going to build support. Okay, so now that we built our support, we need to fill in all the slots. We need three more wooden logs. We need 60 nails. We need rope and metal wire. And then we come up to it with a hatchet or a hammer, and we build the flagpole. Bam, 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 bam. Ba, 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 ba. Right, and what this essentially does is so long as there is a flag attached to this pole, which there is not right now, we will not have any decay on our base or any of the items we place within vicinity. So let's get a flag up there. My personal favorite flag here. We got the Livonia flag. We're going to go ahead and attach that right here. And then we're going to hold F to raise the flag. Now, so long as this flag is raised, our buildings will not decay or lose anything. But because it's built out in the open, technically a player could just come along, walk up to the flagpole as much as you could, and lower your flag. That's why it's important that we seal off the area that we're building these flagpoles in. All right, so now let's pimp our compound. Why don't we? So if you want power in your house, we need to get a generator and we need to put fuel in it. Um, but in order to attach anything to it, we're going to need cable reel. So I'm going to go ahead and put this generator right over here. Let me place it. Let's place it right there. We're going to need cable reel alongside our spotlight here. Now with my cable reel, I'm going to go up to my generator and I'm going to plug in left click. Then I'm going to take that. You can see it's plugged in right there. I'm going to take that over to my light and I'm going to left click connect. Now I could go up to my light and press F on it and it'll turn it on. So in nighttime, this will be all Illuminati. See? Now it's important that we go over the different storage options we have in the game. Uh, things that we can find are the car tent, which you could place a car inside. We have the civilian tent, which is just this little blue guy right here, which comes with quite a lot, 200 storage space. We have the military tent, which comes with a grip load of storage space, 400. And then we also have the canopy tent, which is like a civilian like party tent, which has 150, the least of all the tents. We can use all of these for storage, but sometimes we can't manage to find any of these. And if we go inside, once that we can have it inside, we have a sea chest, we have a barrel, um, and now we're going to talk about what we can do if we can't find any of these. Because sometimes you loot around the entire world and you don't, don't find any of these. There are other options that we could just do with the environment around. First off, we're going to need some planks and we're going to need some nails. All right, now that we have planks and nails, we're going to drag the planks onto the nails. And we're going to craft wooden crate. And this is just an option. If you don't find any of those things, you can always still have storage in your base so long as you just make a couple wooden crates check it out they're humongous too 
They are not small at all. And we can line these outside. We can put it inside. Whatever we want. Right there. And that is 50 storage space. Just with nothing but nails as a cost. Now, other than that, we can make a shelter kit. And how we build a shelter kit is we're going to take rope and five sticks. And we're going to combine them and we're going to go to shelter kit. And this is going to be something that we can reuse just like the fence kit. And it will show you exactly when we place it, where we can place it. it has to be on even ground. This one is quite temperamental in my experience. So let's find a spot with even ground here. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, there we go. Shelter kit. And this one's just going to take a bunch of little logs. So if we go into it, I need four sticks. And then I need... Sorry, I need four long sticks. And I need 50 short sticks. Four tarp. Or eight leather. Like hides from an animal. And... What we're going to do here for me, I'm going to do sticks. So we're going to do long sticks and sticks. Let's go. So we have four of the long sticks here. And then we have 50, I think, of these sticks here. We have over 50. We're on fire. Now, once we have all those together, we're going to want to use our bare hands. Nothing in our hands. And we're going to want to build improvised shelter. Ah, can you leave me alone right now? I'm trying to build something. Oh, please don't do this right now. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. There we go. We got the shelter site. Alright, we're gonna put this zombie to sleep in the shelter site. Sleep zombie. Come on now, baby. Alright. There, he's kind of like an omen. Um, and if we go inside, this guy has a hundred slots. And you can make this with no anything. All you need is your hands, break down sticks, right? And then put it together. And these are all of the different items you can make. We have everything. I personally, for bases, I don't think a watchtower is worth it for the amount of resource you have to put out. When you could just build this base around something that has multiple stories instead. That's just my personal opinion. But if you want to build a watchtower, that's up to you. You could even build this out in the middle of nowhere. You could be super creative. All you really need to worry about is making yourself a fence and locking off an area with that. Like I did here. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this guide helped you a little bit in navigating the really treacherous road that is base building in DayZ. Ultimately, it can be a really fulfilling experience so long as we position ourselves in a place where not a million people come by. Because every single time someone comes by your base, there's a chance that, that person is going to want to sabotage it. Okay, and maybe 15 people don't want to sabotage it, but that 16th person really wants to ruin your base. So be careful out there. Make sure you make your base secure. Double check everything. Double check your combination lock. Write it down. Don't forget your combination lock. Incredibly important. And have fun out there.